In this video, I'm going to write a program in C to check if two matrices with the same dimensions are equal, where the matrices are represented as 2D arrays. So the first thing I'll do is define two constants for the number of rows and columns in our 2D arrays. So I'll say number define rows 3 and number define calls 4. And we'll have matrices that are 3 by 4 in dimension. So here I'll say int A rows and calls is equal to, and we'll put some pretty simple values in this 2D array to initialize it. And then I'm going to copy and paste this and make another 2D array called B. And B is going to be pretty much the same as A, but I'm going to change one value in it just to make them not equal. Because we're going to say that two matrices or two 2D arrays of the same dimension are not equal if at any point in the same position in both arrays, the elements are not equal. So here we've got at row one, column two, two in A and two in B. And that would be okay. Those elements are equal. But here at row two, column three in A, we've got three and row two, column three in B, we've got five and they're not equal. So because of that one element being off, we would say that these two matrices are not equal. So let's actually write a function to check for this. And our function is going to return true if the matrices are equal and false if it's not. So we'll include the stdbool.h library so we can return true and false values. So here I'll say bool matrix equality. It's going to accept an array A with this number of rows and this number of columns and an array B with this number of rows and this number of columns. And we'll provide a definition of the function down here. Now the way it's going to work is we're going to use a loop nested inside another loop to examine each possible combination of row and column values in A and B. So here I'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than rows, i plus plus. And this first loop is going to take this counter variable here, i, from zero up until the number of rows that we've got in our 2D arrays. So i is going to take on every possible row index value. Now we're going to have a similar loop that's going to be an inner loop here. And it's going to have a counter variable that's going to take on every possible column value. So here I'll say for int j is equal to zero, j is less than calls, j plus plus. And we're going to take j from zero up to the number of columns in our 2D array. And j is then going to take on every column index in our 2D arrays. So what we've got together is a loop that's going to loop over each row and another loop inside of that that's going to loop over each column within each row. Because what we're going to do is we're going to check every a i j and b i j value to see if they're not equal. If they're ever not equal, we're going to return false. So here I'll say if a i j doesn't equal b at i j, then we've found an element that at the same row and column position in a and b is not equal. So here we'll say return false, if that's the case. Now, if we get to the end of this nested loop structure here, and we've never found an element in the 2D arrays that is not equal, then we can return true. Because at this point, we'll have examined all possible combinations of row and column indexes in A and B. And so we'll return true because at this point, if we haven't found one that's not equal, they must all be equal and we'll return true. So let's test this function out now. Here I'll say if matrix equality A and B is true, then printf that A is equal to B. Otherwise, if it's not true, then printf that A doesn't equal B. So we'll save this here and run it. And we should get that A doesn't equal B because again, this one element here is off. Now, if we did make it the same, if we did make it three and we save it and we run it again, 
we now get that A equals B because the two matrices are equal. And so we've successfully written a function in C to check if two matrices of the same dimension are equal. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.